You can never have a clown with makeup around a monkey because they lose their shit. Now, one of my first teachers, Dick Monday, he was working for the circus and he was told that he had to go to a photo shoot with a monkey. And he says, no. Clowns and monkeys don't mix. And they're like, no, no, no. This, is, this monkey is okay with clowns. So he says yes. So he gets in the car in the back seat and the monkey's in the front seat. And the monkey's like, no, no, I'm a regular monkey. Sort of hanging out glances up, sees the rear view mirror, and sees Dick Monday in his clown outfit in the back seat. And the monkey goes, ah, 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 and freaked out and tried to jump into the back seat and kill Dick. And Dick got out of the car and he's like, I'm fucking walking. I'm out. Because it is an altered reality that um, they don't understand. I hear often you know, if we didn't grow up, we'd all be great actors. Babies and kids, they're honest and unapologetic. They just experience things. They don't have this, uh, they don't have a sense of vanity. Um, and clowns are the same way. Um, they don't get embarrassed by what they experience. It's why you sit and watch a baby and the baby's like, Because everything they see is brand new to them. It's like blanket, fingers, hair, nails, things, words, you know. Um, it's not complex. Everything is just new. And to me, that's simplicity. Simplicity is reaction. Simplicity is taking your brain out of the equation. Simplicity is there's only one kind of love and it is with your entire soul and being. There is not, well, I love you, but I wouldn't stop a bullet for you. It's just love, fear, want. We, we're there to be the reflection of the audience in these moments. I would always prefer someone to share something with the audience but it doesn't have to be a long time. It can just be a and then you continue on. You know, when someone punches me in my face, I take it and then I show them that I was punched in the face and they get to go, oh, or they get to laugh at me. So that goes back, once we're embarrassed, then we're sort of relating to them, not just sort of experiencing something. They relate to us in a more awkward way if we're embarrassed about it if i get punched in the face and i'm like oh god oh god it hurts so much a clown's job in 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 our society i think is to live through these moments and make us laugh at these moments that we all experience and get embarrassed about so if you're embarrassed in any way, if you're putting up any sort of wall between you and your life, um, then, I don't know, you're cheating the clown. You're not living as fully as you could. Kenny Raskin, who was one of my teachers, he still, to this day, gives clown masterclasses to CEOs because it helps them in their jobs, living in the moment, um, figuring out how to interact with people, um, reading your audience, 
I think one of my favorite clowns that I've ever met is my wife. Her, her life is, is a clown's life. Everything she does. I love scaring her. Like, I will... I won't do it anymore because it's not good for her. Like, because every time I scare her, she goes, oh, 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 you frightened me. When I buy her flowers, it's like the first time she's ever gotten flowers from anybody. When she takes like a hot shower, she says, and she means it, that was the best shower I've ever taken. Uh, a good dinner. Like, that was my favorite meal I've ever had you know s just sitting on the sofa like cuddling for the night like this is my favorite night of all time like and she means it um, and not people don't normally live their lives like that she just lives with an open heart and in the moment all the time everything is new and amazing and frightening and scary and that's great. It's really difficult to live that way, I think. Yeah. It's not uh, good for one's heart, probably. <laughs>